Greetings gamers, Gurk here with another video. Today we're going to just enjoy the uh, latest update here from the PTS that includes the intro sequence for the Steel Rain update coming on July 7th. And then I'm going to be just doing a little look-see at the scoreboard, uh, noting some of the highlights. So let's just sit back here and enjoy the, I believe, Eon Zer mu composed music and get a little preview of, I guess, some of the locations that we'll be going to in the new update. Looks like a subway station. a bunch of uh, pools in there. <laughs> Vault 96. I think it's wildly wild bleh. widely known that uh, we're going to be going in there. This is a strange room, I think. Uh, those look like maybe those are power conduits, or they could just be kind of like... I don't know. I don't know what they are. I imagine electricity, like, bouncing around on them. And it looks like we're going inside of a mine. To me, that looks like... Um, the Lucky Hole Mine, but it could be any mine really like they all kind of relatively look the same but that was just my first thought based on the lighting and the color of the rock and whatnot and back to the train station all right let's go ahead and take a look at that scoreboard and see what we're going to be doing here with uh katie inkwell in the 42nd century We've got this crazy dolphin human hybrid hive mind, the end of free thought, evolution, technology, run amok. Okay. The first item of note is the fortune teller machine. Coming in pretty early on the scoreboard. Could be kind of interesting. I'm, I'm not terribly excited about that. I wish we had like something more like one of the workout machines early on in the season, like we have in previous seasons. Uh, I like these posters though, I think these are pretty cool. I don't know if we get all three of these or if we're just getting the look onward one. I mean they show three posters so I would assume we're getting all three of those posters. So I like the posters. Next interesting thing is the Charmer hat. It should be called a helmet though, it's not really a hat. It should be called the Ch Blood Eagle Charmer helmet. Would be a more appropriate name. Eh, it just looks like a red painted motorcycle helmet, old style. Nice icon. Some more posters, which it shows the same preview image. That's why I'm kind of thinking we only get one. Like, I think first we're going to get that one, and then second we're going to get that one, and then probably third is going to be this Nuka-Cola dolphin girl. Apparently Nuka-Cola is still going strong in the year, in the 42nd century. Power armor paint. And the Alistair Flare. Let me go around. Uh, open and close sign. Not terribly exciting. Now this here is what we want. We're finally getting a good functioning display frame. So that's at, I've counted it out, that's level or rank 24. That's another pet peeve of mine is I wish when you'd select on these it would tell you what rank that was. Instead you have to like count them manually in order to figure out what rank that is. 
Okay. Perks, nukes, armor pants, bullion. This is a pretty cool outfit. Coming up here, I like this Raider Goon outfit. It's like a gladiator. Looks like he belongs to Nuclear Winter. It'll be a perfect skin for Nuclear Winter. Too bad. It'll. Well, it's not going to be gone. We'll be able to use it in Nuclear Winter until its Nuclear Winter is removed. Finally, getting a power armor paint for the Gatling laser. Yeah, it just says Gatling laser, so I'm not sure if it should be usable on the Ultra Sight Gatling laser too, since they use the exact same model. It's just their color of their laser is different. Excavator, cores. There's the helmet. How far away they put it. Ten ranks later, you get the helmet to complete the outfit. It's pretty, pretty rough. I think that it should only be like maybe five. Okay, some photo mode poses. This here is nice for people like myself. I enjoy the fixer. That's pretty cool paint for the fixer. And this, of course, this is pretty nice for building. All those that enjoy building camps, we get a metal military style stairs, a natural um, wood log cabin sort of stairs, and then like kind of a fancier, like rich sort of uh, wooden staircase, like wooden metal. That one's for your, you know, high class sort of camps. So that's pretty cool. So that's good. You have to go through a lot of junk though before you get to that. That's one of the best items, I would say. And here's one of the best items here is the Blood Eagle Charmer blouse outfit for female characters. Or for those cross-dressing male characters, I suppose. Okay, where are we? Char okay, here's the Charmer male outfit. Let's see, how far apart are these? Six apart. And then you get the male version. Pretty cool. I guess the Charmer hat looks decent. Looks good with that outfit. That's what it's supposed to go with. And we get another skin for a Gatling Plasma. This one's Alistair's apparently paint job. It's apparently Alistair uses a sword for up close and this uh, a Gatling Plasma for range. More power armor. What was that? Oh, Mind Flare. I say that looks pretty cool on the uh, T65. It's a pretty cool logo. I do like that logo. It's like like a dolphin and wait here. It's a different logo. They have a logo there. There they have the mind logo. So I don't know which which one you're actually gonna get. That one's like the dolphin evolution logo, and this is like the mind logo. Imagine it's going to be this one. That just must be a mistake. Oh, here's something else for all the camp builders that want to have like a remains of an old house or like a more a nicer looking camp that actually has a washer and dryer. Not that you can actually use them, but. That's nice, you can stack them or set them side by side. That's cool. Really far on the scoreboard though, you have to go to get that. 
Alright. Items of note. Here we have the Valorous Alistair Sword. And it's applicable to most one-handed bladed weapons. So pretty much most of the swords you can make into that. So that's pretty cool. Um, we got no image of that one. Let's see what one would that be. Because we had the T fifty sixty-five. Oh, this must be one of the new skins. Mind power armor paint. Yeah, they're not telling us what that is. I will share a theory here of what that armor is going to look like, or what at least what the end armor is going to look like. So here we have Alistair's backpack, which is also pretty cool. Uh, I definitely say I agree with Angry Turtle. It does have does definitely gives me a Star Wars vibe to it. I could see somebody on Tatooine walking around with that. And the cool helmet, Mandalorian here. Another Star Wars uh, inspired, I'd say, uh, helmet. Looks like Boba Fett. Fallout's Boba Fett. And here we get the actual outfit, which is pretty cool. I like that. That's a good outfit. I mean, look how far we're almost at the very end here of the season before you get that cool outfit. And then this is very cool, the Red Rocket Collectron. Now they better not cheap out on us on this one, and they better give it custom voice lines. If they don't, I'm going to be really disgusted. I mean, I was disgusted with the Nuka Cola or Collectron not having custom voice lines. But this would be even worse because it has a very custom graphic. And then they're not showing us what the final armor is going to look like, or the final. We know what the scoreboard looks like. I don't know why they used this Armor Ace one Power Patrol, and they used the Armor Ace one mugs. Are we getting the mugs? I wonder in this one. Skateboard, power armor. All it shows is power armor, a skateboard, at least all it says, and 500 atoms. So we probably aren't even going to get those, but I think we are going to get those because there wasn't another spot for the mugs. Triumphant Elastery mode. Okay, that's a Okay, anyway, what I was saying is, looking over this board, I think we've got some pretty good ideas of here of what the final power armor, at least, possibly the one before, looks like. Take a look at this guy right here. It's like dolphin power armor. Dolphin person power armor. That's probably what we're going to get. And I'll show another picture of it is... Look, here's like two of them standing next to each other. So you want to have some kind of alien. Here's, here's a good picture of it right there. I think it looks pretty cool. It's got dolphin shoulders, pads, a dolphin head. If you want kind of like a somewhat alien looking power armor that would that would be like your choice there and I'd say that about wrap this up uh, tell me in comments down below like what items are you most excited about for me it's there is definitely some cool stuff but man they really are making us work for it like that that's 99 and then the Elastir outfit and they saved pretty much the best stuff for last the backpack the sword, like yeah, in order to have a complete Alistair, you gotta get all the way to the end. Or virtually to the end. Washer and dryer. For some people that's like really important. The Alistair laser or a Gatling plasma scan. These I think I wish these were earlier on. Now, if people know I have four accounts and TPC, one PlayStation, and one Xbox account of this game. So, 
I did all four of the season I just recently finished and got rank 100 on all of the accounts and I have to tell you I'm pretty burnt out from doing that so I feel the next season season 5 I'm not going to try to get all of them to rank 100 I'm thinking at least two and at most three, but I'm definitely not doing four. I would say the one that's probably going to get sacrificed is probably my non-Fallout first uh, PC version. My Microsoft version is not going to get completed. And I'm thinking I may just end the PlayStation version around maybe these stairs. I might just decide not to uh, go any further than that. It's like, I have power armor paint, I have that, I have a better looking skin. I mean, yeah, I would be missing out on the cool Alistair outfit and everything, but I would get the power armor frame display. That you get at level 24, so that's not real far, so let's see if that's 24. I believe right here or here is 50, if I counted correctly. So, yeah, I might just try to get them to, like, those two accounts to, like, around level rank 50 on the scoreboard so that I get I get the steers to build with. Uh, the rest of the stuff after that. It's There is definitely some cool stuff, but I guess sacrifices have to be made. I just, I can't push myself to do four scoreboards as I'm just gonna burn myself out on this game altogether if I do that anymore so that's the conclusion I've come to so it's just too much fallout so uh, I may also be doing some new videos but I'll get back into that on another video uh, for now I guess this is Gamer Gook signing out and uh, let, you know just let me know down below your, uh, what you're excited for on the scoreboard and all that good stuff. Remember, I do have a giveaway coming up at 1,000 subs. So, uh, just uh, give me your thoughts, give me your likes, share the channel, help me get some more subs. I would appreciate it. And for now, this is Gamer Geek signing out, saying live long and game on.